Here is a diagram representing the nucleus and the ER, or endoplasmic reticulum. As you can see, the ER is continuous with the nuclear membrane. The aria, or rough endoplasmic reticulum, in particular has proteins associated with it called ribosomes. The lumen of the aria allows for protein synthesis of water-soluble and transmembrane proteins folding and export. mRNA, transcribed from the nucleus, gets exported into the cytosol through a nuclear pore and when it comes into contact with and binds to one of the ribosomes, the process of translation can begin. Many ribosomes bind to the mRNA, forming a polyribosome. There are two populations of polyribosome that share the same pool of ribosomal subunits, free ribosomes and membrane-bound ribosomes. It is important to note that no ribosome is permanently bound to the ER, they are only associated with the RER temporarily in protein synthesis. Free ribosomes translate mRNA into proteins that are taken up by the cytoplasm and other organelles for the functioning of the cell. Membrane-bound ribosomes synthesize proteins that are translocated into the lumen of the ER, also known as water-soluble proteins and transmembrane proteins, which are permanently membrane-bound. Ribosomes that are membrane-bound give the rough endoplasmic reticulum its distinct feature. This is a clear difference to the smooth ER. As described by the signal hypothesis, the mRNA becomes bound to the free ribosomal subunits and is directed to the membrane of the RER by a signal sequence consisting of a positively charged amino acid chain, followed by a 5 to 15 hydrophobic amino acid sequence. The signal recognition particle, which is present in the cytosol, is a large hydrophobic pocket lined with methionine. It travels in the cytosol and ER membrane, binding to the signal sequence and large ribosomal subunits. The signal recognition particle is then recognized by an SRP receptor present in the RER membrane and becomes bound. To compensate for this process, protein synthesis is slowed down to allow the ribosome to bind to the membrane. The signal recognition particle is dissociated from the complex and the polypeptide is released into a protein translocation channel. The signal sequence opens the translocation channel and remains bound to the channel due to its high hydrophobic region. The polypeptide is threaded through the ER lumen and is cleaved by a signal peptidase. leaving behind the signal sequence, creating a water-soluble protein. Protein plugs are present in the ER lumen, bind to the channel, and assist with its closing and removal and degradation of the signal peptide sequence. Protein folding in the ER lumen is initiated by the addition of an oligosaccharide chain to the polypeptide by glycosol transferase, and is assisted by a folding chaperone called calnexin. Calnexin binds after the cleaving of two glucose molecules from the oligosaccharide, and once protein folding is completed, calnexin along with the remains of the oligosaccharide chain are cleaved from the folded protein. The other type of protein synthesized by membrane-bound ribosomes are the transmembrane proteins. These proteins remain embedded in the membrane. When the peptide sequence goes through the translocation channel, it meets an additional sequence of hydrophobic amino acids called the stop transfer sequence. This remains in the channel and stops the movement of the peptide. The stop transfer sequence is released laterally into the bilayer by the cleavage of the signal sequence by signal peptidase. The result of this is a transmembrane protein being formed. These have a defined orientation, with a carboxylic acid group being on the external side of the membrane and an amino group being present on the internal side. More complex transmembrane proteins have numerous start-stop regions and both hydrophobic regions move laterally into the membrane. The start regions initiate translocation and the stop regions initiate the release of the peptide. This allows these peptides to be stitched into the membrane as they are being synthesized. Protein modification and degradation of misfolded proteins also occurs in the RER, which can be further explored in the other sections of the presentation. Use this video to create a model answer for the following question. Explain the signal hypothesis and the two proteins that are produced using membrane-bound ribosomes.